Danish police on Wednesday kept thousands of protesters from entering the venue where the United Nations climate talks are being held. A police spokesman said 250 people were arrested at various points in Copenhagen. Near the Bella Center, I witnessed four people being arrested. At exactly midday, approximately 500 policemen began moving in on a protest that they had declared illegal. The protest at the Bella Center was organized by the Climate Justice Action Network, a Danish group that has coordinated several demonstrations in the past week. They had permission for a peaceful protest here, but they also announced plans to break through the barriers around the center. The protesters wanted to hold what they called the People's Summit inside the venue at 1 o'clock, together with non-governmental groups taking part in the COP15 talks. Several NGOs, including Friends of the Earth, were denied access on Wednesday. At the very moment that they were supposed to meet inside, about 1,000 protesters found themselves surrounded by police and riot gear, outside in the freezing cold with wet snow falling from the sky. Police at several moments used pepper spray and batons. But when it became clear that the protesters no longer were able to enter the center, the police took off their helmets to adopt a less aggressive stance. Some riot police were given time to do something else while their colleagues practiced crowd control. Meanwhile, inside the Bella Center, tensions are heating up again. Another day has passed without real progress, and with 24 hours to go before the heads of state of 110 countries arrive, the Danish climate minister, Connie Hedegaard, was replaced as president of the COP15 meeting. Raymond Franken, EUXTV, Copenhagen.